Welcome back to Dad Labs. I'm Daddy Troy, and I'm at the Holiday Showcase, Time to Play Holiday Showcase in New York City, and I'm with Eric Levin of Technosaurus. And today we're going to show you the next generation of Rubik's Cube. I was in high school in the 80s and Rubik's Cube was all the thing. I had competitions with my kids. I even did a mathematical study of the group theory of Rubik's Cubes. I'm so excited to see the next generation. Tell us about it. Absolutely. Well, this is the first fully electronic Rubik's Cube. We've been working on it for over four years to get the engineering right. Uh, and we worked with Professor Rubik himself to make sure that it was absolutely authentic. And what's so cool about this is basically the, the Rubik's Cube you know and love mixed almost with an iPhone. Now, instead of turning it like you used to, you just slide your finger across the top and it gets you that same reaction. So the white's right here. Yep. If I were to turn, do I have to have it upright if I turn it? The, the only the top face at any time is, okay. uh, is activated. That way you don't make wrong moves. Right, good. So I see white right there. If I turn this over like this and do like that, you'll notice the white came up to right there. Exactly cool. right. So what it allows you to do is, and I think what's so cool about it is, yeah, you play it the same way, but because of the way that you have your interface with it changes, you have to rethink the way that you move it and solve it. So it takes something you know so well and makes you really interact with it in a different way. I was a kid when I was an adult as well, when you were Rubik's Cube, it was so much about muscle memory and knowing how to, I can still feel it from when I was a kid. Exactly. You know, like that. And so this is, uh, that's an actual interesting uh, brain conundrum of sorts to take a, a known problem but change the physical process by which you solve it. That's it, really got to be good for kids' brain development. Absolutely. It really, when you see people going through it who know how to solve it well for the first time, and you see how they have to adjust their thinking and, and the way they manipulate it, it is a, ta it's a it really is a puzzle all over again, um, even though it's one you know so well. What's cool about this, though, if you get stuck, for the first time, this cube can give you a hint to the next best, ah. the best next move. If you go ahead and click on the question mark, you'll see that it's making a move. And now it's telling, so if I repeat that move, now I've made the next most logical move. And I can do that all the way through to learn how to do it, or just when I'm stuck. I can also, because one of the things that happen if you know you solve a Rubik's Cube, every once in a while you're so close to solving it, you make that one wrong move and it messes oh, yeah, the whole thing up and right. you oh, what and did I, I do? And also you can undo your last move. Yeah, and as a kid, when I did uh, Rubik's Cubes, I remember the really, really hard, the end, Yep. Um, I learned it from a book or a friend showing me the tricks. Yep. Whereas this, the cube can kind of teach you, and uh, if you're a kid working alone, or just want to learn to do it, it really acts as a teaching tool. That's yeah, really fun. Absolutely. Uh, how about batteries? Are they going to suck the batteries down? This has a rechargeable battery built in, so it comes, it comes with this ba uh, base stand, and when you put it down in the stand, it A, recharges it, but also puts on a light show, so it's kind of like geek night light. Really yeah, cool sure. disco ball, <laughs> uh, and a great, also, desk desk accessory for dads too. Hey Eric, thanks so much. Really cool product. Can't wait to get my hands on one. We'll talk to you next time. Thanks so much.